Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill, and we're going to do uh, CAT 2006 question number 54, which was the fourth question in the quantitative section for the CAT 2006. So uh, let's go ahead and do the question. Now, uh, there's a general hype that CAT is difficult, but I don't believe that. If you see all the videos and you see the way the questions are done, you just have to be logical rather than you know trying to use hardcore mathematics. So let's see this question. The length, breadth, and height of a room are in the ratio 3 ratio 2 ratio 1. If breadth and height are halved, but the length is doubled, the total area of the four walls of the room will become what? Now he's talking about a room. So let's let's assume that this is the room. Now he is talking about the four walls of the room which means that the upper portion of the room that is the floor and the bottom portion of the room that is the base will not be considered. The only thing that will be considered is it's the walls and the walls include only height and length or height and breadth. So the total area, so the total area of the uh, whole four walls is going to be height into length plus height into breadth and there are two walls of height into length and two walls of height into breadth. If you see these are two walls and these are two walls, there are a total of four walls. So this is times two. So if I just further simplify it, this is going to become two into h plus l plus b. So this is the area of the four walls that he's talking about that, right? So let's go ahead and do this question. Now the length, breadth and height are in the ratio three, ratio two, ratio one. So since he's asking me the questions, he's asking me percentages, I can very well assume the length to be three, the breadth to be two, and the height to be one, right? So uh, what is the area of the walls that is 2 times height into length plus breadth that is going to be 10 isn't it but if the length is doubled so now length becomes 6 breadth is half it becomes 1 and height is also half so height becomes 1 by 2 so now if I calculate the uh, now if I go ahead and calculate uh, the area of the four walls it is going to be 2 times 1 by 2 that is 2 times height I'm just using the same expression here into length plus breadth so which will be equal to 7 now he's asking me what is the percent change in the area right so from 10 it became 7 that means it decreased by 3 divided by the initial value that is 10 into 100 so that is nothing but it has decreased by 30 percent right so over here is my answer it decreased by 30 percent right so I assume this question was pretty easy the length breadth and height of the room are in 3 ratio 2 ratio 1 the only thing tricky was that he considered the four walls of the room you should not be considering all the walls just these four walls the four walls does not include the base and the floor so it just includes all the uh, walls that includes height so this is what it came out to be and we just went with the question and we found out what's the percent decrease right so if you're given cat 2006 uh, i suppose you should not be missing this question you shouldn't be missing any question anyway right so thank you very much and see you next video